Hello everybody and welcome one more time to our series of screencasts by Mercados Interactive Partners. Uh, my name is Alex Centeno and in this episode I'm going to be showing you how to use an image uh, to uh, for web design purposes but how do you how to improve an image that uh, has a background and this using Photoshop CS5 so we have an image here that uh, is from stock exchange and that's the image that we're going to be using right here uh, I'm just gonna delete this that I have here so that I show you the entire process and let's do that delete yes and uh, that is the image that we start with that one right there and I'm just gonna paste the other one so to see so you can see that it's the same image so I'm just gonna delete that one there you go alright so we start with this image which is not a bad image of of the model the problem is that it has uh, first of all a cast and second that it has a terrible background so let's say that we wanted to use this for a promotional item or an advertisement spot but um, uh, we don't really like the background that it was shot and we want to improve it. So the first thing that we're going to do is correct uh, correct the image in terms of color because it has a cast. So the way that we do that is we are going to set up a threshold layer and we're going to determine with the threshold we're going to determine uh, the black points of the image and we can set up right like that a pointer there and we're gonna do the same with the white point which in this case I want the wall to be white and then we can discard that that layer right there and what we're gonna do is now we're going to take our mask uh, our curves I'm sorry and uh, with the sampler for the black point we're gonna sample here in the black point of the image and do the same with the white point. Now we have an image that actually is correct in terms of white and black so we can get rid of this ones, this point is right here. Um, but one thing to note is that her skin is actually not the color that I wanted. So we can actually go ahead and set up another point right there and you can see here in the information panel you can see that you have cyan, magenta, and yellow which is these are normal colors for skin for a good looking skin in an image 12, 50, 60 but um, I'm gonna correct it a little bit so that it looks more the way that I want it which is I'm gonna reduce a little bit the yellow so I'm just gonna grab here with this tool right here that allows me to click and drag right in the image where I want the, the change to happen. So I'm just going to click on that and I'm going to go to the blue channel which is the opposite of the yellow and I'm going to drag and as you can see the more I drag well let me just go ahead and choose it again and the more I drag the more yellow it becomes and then the more that I drag up the, the more blue the image becomes so I just want to make sure that I'm in the right spot around somewhere around there and that's looking good and I'm going to reduce a little bit the magenta and I reduce the magenta by increasing the green just a tad bit and I'm going to finally reduce the red a little bit so just like that alright so the image already looks a lot better let's remove this pointer right here looks a lot better already but let's say that what I wanted would be to have it in a more exciting background and that's what we're going to to do here so I need to select this image so let's go to one of my favorite techniques for selection which is 
just checking different channels and as you can see I have already uh, created a mask channel right here which I'm gonna delete so that I show you the process of doing this so I'm gonna review the different channels I can do so by pressing the Apple key 3 Apple key 4 and Apple key 5 respectively for the channels red green and blue and I'm gonna try to find the one that has the most amount of contrast in this case is the blue one so I'm gonna copy that one and effectively this is gonna become my mask channel and the intention is that I want to create a mask where everything that is going to be transparent is going to be black um, so in this case it's just easier to make a white selection of the background even though that's not what I want to to make transparent and then inverse it so that's what I'm gonna do right now so all this part right here is going to be selected so what I can do is apply levels and I'm going to reduce by dragging from this slider to the right until I can see that it pretty much becomes a monochrome image of white and black. I'm gonna do so until I see what I want. I'm gonna go ahead also and paint with black inside here all the areas that should be black. Alright as well as here. Okay. Now all this part should be white, so I'm just gonna go ahead and press X to change to my white brush and just and just paint like so. It's important to actually paint a little bit and then unclick so that if you need to undo you don't undo a whole whole portion of your image is just like little chunks alright now I'm gonna shift my tool from normal mode to overlay mode and I am going to do this like so the overlay mode is going to allow me to protect my the colors that I want to protect like the hairs there as you can see it's a little too harsh so I can remove a little bit of the opacity here I can tone down that opacity so that I keep some of those hairs there I want to keep those hairs as well there and same right here much better and there you go now this is going to become my mask so I'm just going to reverse this so now the white is my actual selection. I'm going to go back like so to my image and I am going to create a mask. As you can see now the background has been masked out and I have my image over there. Let's add a background a more exciting background the way that I intended in the first place by just using a regular blue here filling out that layer with blue and then changing the filter to render some clouds in the background I'm gonna blur those clouds a little bit to make it almost like a studio backdrop and I'm gonna put this layer underneath okay that's looking so much better already but one thing that you can notice is that the edges are not exactly sharp the way you want them and that's where CS, CS5 comes to the rescue 